Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at solving right triangles. If you've completed the previous videos here, grade 9 Pythagorean theorem and the grade 10 intro to sine cos tan video, then today's lesson will be a lot easier for you. In this previous video, we practiced calculating sine of 40, for example, and also solving sine of theta equals 0 0.45 using the inverse sine cos and tan. So if you haven't practiced this, I highly recommend that you go back to the previous video and complete it. So a right triangle is a triangle where one of its angles is 90 degrees. So we're going to practice some terminology here. Uh, we notice that this is a right triangle because of the 90 degrees. And if we consider this angle here, theta, then this length is called opposite of theta. This length is called the hypotenuse. And then this length beside the theta is called the adjacent side. Right, so let's look at another example. We're going to consider this angle here. The opposite length is called opposite. The length beside it is called adjacent. And the longest length is called hypotenuse, which is always across from the 90 degree like that. So we saw for right triangles that uh, all the angles add up to 180. We also know that the Pythagorean theorem gives us a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. And so uh, here are the relationships between the angles, and this is a relationship between the sides. There's another relationship that's between angles and the sides like this, and they're called the trigonometric ratios, or just trig ratios for short. So let's go through them. Uh, sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So if we're looking at this triangle here, the sine of this angle is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse, like that. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we're looking at this angle here, we're taking the cos of that angle. That will equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse like that. And then last is tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. And so you see here SOH, so, CAH, ka, TOA, TOA, SOKA, TOA. And you ask your teacher if you have to remember this by heart. Uh, there's a good chance that you will have to remember it by heart because it's so simple. But we're going to do a lot of practice today. And by the end of this lesson, you're going to be sick of hearing Sokotoa because you're going to know it that well. So we're going to use the trig ratios to solve right triangles. Solving a right triangle means to find all of the angles and all of the sides. Right? So we're going to use Sokotoa. So a couple of comments here. All values are to be calculated to two decimal places. And secondly, be sure your calculator is set to degree mode. Sokotoa. Okay, let's look at some examples. Example one, solve the right triangle. So here's our triangle here. Sides three and four are given. We don't know the hypotenuse, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem on this, right? 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared, which gives us c equals 5. So now we need the angles. We know we have 90, but we're, meet, we're missing alpha and beta. So we notice that if we consider alpha here, we have the opposite and the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent. So that's toa right there. So tan of alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent. So 4 over 3 like that. And then we can go tan inverse to both sides. And so we get angle 53.13 like that. To get angle beta, we're going to go 180 minus 90 minus 53.13, which gives 36.87. Okay, B. Sokotoa. So what's given to us is the hypotenuse, and we don't have sides A and B like this, or angle alpha. Angle alpha, we're going to calculate that right away. 180 minus 90 minus 30 gives us 60, like that. So we're going to start with adjacent and hypotenuse, right? So we have the angle. We don't have adjacent, but we do have hypotenuse like that. So cos of 30 equals A over hypotenuse, like that, A over 7 times 7 to both sides, so a equals 7 cos 30, which gives 6.06. .06. 
Okay, next we're going to look at getting our opposite here. So sine 30 equals opposite over hypotenuse, right? So opposite over hypotenuse. And so opposite is B, hypotenuse is 7, times 7 to both sides, and B equals 3.5. Okay, C. So Katoa, what do we have? We can get alpha right away. 180 minus 90 minus 39 gives 51 like that. We're going to consider 39 here. We have the hypoten uh, the opposite, sorry. We have the opposite, but we don't have the adjacent. So we're going to plug that in. Tan 39 equals opposite 9.3 divided by A like that. Times A to both sides and... Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to have times A to both sides to bring A up, and then divide by tan 39 to bring it down. So A equals 9.3 over tan 39, which gives 11.48. Next, we're going to consider sine of 39. We have opposite, but we don't have hypotenuse like that. So sine 39 equals 9.3 over C as such times C to both sides and divide by sine 39, we get 9.3 divided by sine 39, and this gives us 14.78. Okay, D, last example here, Sokotoa. We're gonna get alpha 180 minus 90 minus 42, there we go. So we're gonna consider this angle 42. We have adjacent, but we don't have hypotenuse. So cos 42 is 8.7 divided by C. This gives us C equals 8.7 divided by cos 42, which gives 11.71. Next, we're gonna look at uh, opposite and adjacent like that. We have angle 42, but not the opposite, but we do have the adjacent 8.7 like that which gives A being 7.83. Okay, time for, time for some practice. Okay, so practice number one, A, B, C, D, E. Go ahead and solve these right triangles. Go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, we're back. Number A, we have five, six, but we don't have C, so we're gonna use Pythagoras theorem like that. C equals 7.81. We have opposite and adjacent, but not the angle alpha, so we're gonna use Toa here. Tan alpha equals opposite over adjacent like that. And so we use tan inverse on both sides, so alpha is 50.19. And to get beta, we're going to go 180 minus 90 minus 50.19, which gives 39.81. Okay, B, Sokotoa. Uh, we have 31, we have 90, so 180 minus 90 minus 31 gives 59 for our angle alpha, like that. We're going to consider cos of this angle, 31, so adjacent and hypotenuse. We have the hypotenuse like that, so we're going to go times 8 to both sides. So side A is 8 times cos 31, which gives 6.86. Next, we're going to consider so katoa, so, so so. So we have angle 31, opposite B, hypotenuse 8. So the only thing we don't know is B, like that. Times 8 to both sides, so B equals 4.12. Okay, C, Sokotoa, angle alpha, 180 minus 90 minus 38 gives 52 like that. So here we have angle opposite and looking for adjacent. So Sokotoa, we're going to use Toa in this case. Opposite 7.4, 7.6, I mean, uh, adjacent is A like that. And so A equals 9.73. Next, we're going to look at the sine. So we have opposite and hypotenuse like that. So uh, opposite is 7.6. Hypotenuse is C, which gives us C equals 12.34. Okay, D. Sokotoa. 
alpha once again 180 minus 90 minus 39 like that opposite and adjacent to 39 so 1039 equals a over 8.9 like that so a equals 7.21 Next, we have uh, cos of the angle equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse, like that. So 8.9 divided by C. This gives us C equals 11.45. Okay, last number E, like this. So here we have, let's consider beta here. We have the opposite and the hypotenuse, like that. So sine beta is 12 over 18 sign inverse to both sides and so beta is 41.81 like that to get angle alpha we'll go 180 minus 90 minus beta 41.81 which gives 48.19 like that and so to get angle uh, side a i mean sorry we can use pythagorean theorem a squared plus 12 squared equals 18 squared we isolate for a squared gives 180 square root both sides a equals 13.42 and that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.